Hey everybody, Jackie Somerville here, author of the Little Rule Book series and founder of the Be Your Own Soulmate movement. Welcome to this week's video blog and I am so excited about it because this week I am speaking to you about a subject that I am beyond passionate about, fashion and style. Oh yeah, I spend a heck of a lot of time and money on fashion and I obsess about my wardrobe. I lie awake at night getting so excited about a new outfit that I just bought. I'm that shallow. And actually, I felt guilty about that shallowness from time to time. And this past weekend, I attended yet another seminar. And this one was Brendan Bouchard's High Performance Academy, where we went in depth um, studying high performance when it comes to physiology and psychology and productivity and so on. And one of the speakers was Dr. Daniel Amen. Many of you probably know Dr. Amen is a world-renowned brain expert. And he said something that was like, vindication for me. He said this, he said our brains are 50% visual. So he said that when we feel like we look good, we are happier and we go out and attract the kind of people that we want to attract in our lives and the kind of opportunities. And I thought, yay. So you know what? It really does matter how I put myself together. It does matter that when I step out of my house, I feel like I look good because you know, how we feel about ourselves really does determine our entire lives. When we go out and portray the kind of person that we want to portray, a strong, confident person, we attract opportunity into our lives. So how we feel about ourselves is so important. And a simple way to feel better about ourselves is to take an interest in our appearance and to be the best that we can be. And a way to do that is to develop an interest in style and fashion. So my message to you is if you are already obsessed with fashion and style as I am, stop feeling, feeling guilty about it. Start embracing it. And if you're not, start getting a little more interested in it. Open your mind, read some magazines, because here's the other thing. We really do like in our society to kind of dismiss trends and say, oh, that's trendy, and oh, they're a fashion victim, and so on. But here's the thing about being a little bit trendy, at least knowing what the trends are and interpreting them for yourself. When you do that, you feel fresh and younger. You know, when we get stuck in the past, we feel old fashioned, we portray old fashioned and spent. One of the easiest ways to feel fresh and to uplift the way you feel about yourself is to know what the trends are and give a little nod to them each season. It's amazing how that will lift your spirits and you will feel younger and more vibrant. Give it a try. And what would a fashion blog be or a fashion video be if I didn't let you know about some of my favorite trends for this fall season? Burgundy, the color burgundy being one of them. It's a great, beautiful color and it's everywhere right now. Then the booty. The killer booty. If you want to update your wardrobe and you're a woman, well, there's nothing wrong. If you're a man, hey, get yourself a pair of killer booties if that's what floats your boat. But if you want to update your wardrobe a little bit this season, get a killer booty. It doesn't have to be as high as that one. It's insane. I know. The other thing is camouflage is huge. And I'm not suggesting you walk around looking like you're starring in Duck Dynasty. But if you just get something like a little scarf in some camo, just put that with some simple t-shirt and update your wardrobe, you're gonna start feeling younger and fresher and you're gonna go out there and attract the kind of life that you deserve. So I'm Jackie Somerville reminding you that instead of focusing on finding love, focus on being love and finding yourself and get a little stylish along the way. And if you've liked this video, please click like and share it with your friends and head on over to JackieSomerville.com so you never miss another free video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.